Still, you get the message, though, right? <laughs> Hi. Oh, here's Elijah. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let me see what I've done wrong. Here we go. Oh, I didn't know you could go backwards. Here we go. <laughs> just just uh, right now. It's... Okay. Hold on a quick Why second. Let me... Hold on a second. I want to Please send me the link to those so I can add them for Christmas. Okay, let me just, let's see if you can read this one. I love... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't read it. Uh, all right, so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> this might be one of the best things I've purchased in a long time. And I'll, I'll give you the quick uh, background on this. So, uh, do you guys remember Fortnite Matthew? Okay. <laughs> so he wore these. He wore these in the Zoom the other day, and I go, Matthew, dear God, where did you get those? And he immediately sent me the link, and they're twenty bucks on Walmart.com. Now he he's done shopping at other places, and they're like, oh no, stop. Oh no, it's not stopping. Uh, and uh, anyways, he's, they are expensive, like at other places. Do you want the link? Do you want me to send yes. you the link? Yeah, please send it. Okay. I'll just, just, that's what I did first period. They're all like, I want that, or second period. Why can't I shut these off though? This, this disturbs me. <laughs> Hold on, let me do this real quick. David, do you have batteries? I don't. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, if somebody asked me to marry them with these glasses, I would 100% say yes. What's that? Will you marry me? Oh, uh, will you marry me? Yeah. Oh, they did show off. Okay, so I'll send you the link real quick in classroom if you want to buy them. Now I'm wishing that I had um, yeah, like some sort of uh, good commission on this. Uh, but I did, so I didn't believe Matthew. He goes, look, I've done research. Um, there's also choices. I'll show you real quick. Um, and... He did. So they're like, this literally is the cheapest. I didn't realize when I was ordering them that you could get different colors, even though obviously the colors are here. So you can get blue, all these different things. I don't know what that is, uh, but uh, I tried to do emojis with it. Um, it doesn't do it, but uh, yeah, free shipping. I ordered them uh, last Tuesday. They came yesterday. Um, uh, I will say that um, the box um, had a bunch of ch Chinese on, all over it. So I do feel sorry for maybe the children that made these boxes. Uh, but uh, there you go. I will put this in the old uh, Google Classroom. And if you want to purchase them, you can, you can do that. Okay. Okay, so here's my plan for today. I want to um, I want to just show you some pictures uh, from uh, chapter eight, and then uh, and then I'm going to put the questions up. And if you want to work on them, you can, but you don't have to. You can uh, do whatever. But uh, I did want to at least say that I I did a, a small bit of instruction today, and hopefully you'll find it somewhat interesting. No notes, just listen, uh, because uh, I'm going to make them do I think Wednesday when we get back, right? So like a week from tomorrow. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay. So then you have a you know a little bit over a week and there you go. And you don't have to do more than right. Wait, all do right. we have to take notes? You do not. I don't want you to take notes because all this is pictures for the most part what I'm gonna tell you uh, today. Okay. So, um, so uh, when I started teaching this class, I, I feel like I didn't know um, a lot of what I was doing though I was interested in it. And one thing that was always kind of my weak spot was uh, like earth systems and geology, like literally like, man, I never took a, I took a geology class in college, bless this man's heart. He just recently passed away. He was a 
man. He was like one of those kind of those old professors. It's kind of a grandpa. You kind of want to hug him. He had lots of moles like everywhere, yeah. but like kind of like not like the the beauty mark kind, but like more of like the like skin tag kind. Like from, you know, like the Norman from Car I Carlos. Yeah, I don't know that, but yeah, sure. Okay, and uh, a great guy, Jenkinson was his name. What I remember from my geology class was he showed us some rocks and he made us read a ton of National Geographic articles, which was weird, I guess, in, in, in 1992. I mean, they were cool, but like, that's really what I remember. I also remember one last thing, and that there was this thing called a Horst engraven. And so there were these two girls in my class uh, one girl's name, not a joke, was Angie Dick, and then uh, uh, and then the other girl was Tina Weed, not lying. So yeah, Tina, Tina Weed and Angie Dick became my good friends at Taylor University, a conservative Christian school. Um, and so uh, and so, anyways, they they then started calling me Graven. So if I was ever walking down the street and I I, I someone said, "Hey, Graven," I would know that it was either. Angie Dick, Tina Weed, and then soon their friend Heidi Oakley. Um, and so uh, anyway, that's what I remember. So like when I started teaching stuff, I felt really, really uh, uh, inept. Like I just didn't know stuff. So I've, I've been slowly building over the years and making friends who are uh, uh, into geology and helping them explain things to me and also learning that like um, Indiana, which I know sucks for a lot of reasons, uh, but uh, has some really freaking cool geological uh, features to it. And so I know I've told you a story before about the guy uh, uh, that cut his finger off, right? And I told you a story. So he's the geology guy. And he was the one that came up to me on like the first day of class. And when we were introducing ourselves, I said, I'm Jay Burworth. I live in North Manchester, Indiana. And he lost his poop because he said, oh my God, I've always wanted to meet someone who lived near the Packerton Moraine. And I thought he was like messing with me. And he goes, no, I'm not messing with you. I, Cause I was like, <laughs> like Packerton, like pop machine Packerton. <laughs> and he's like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but, but Packerton is a geological marvel. And I had no idea. All I knew that like, you know, up and down, up and down, right? My kids love that road. They, I told you what they call it, right? PP vibrator road. Uh, and so, you know, but it's, but it's, it's amazing. And so he's, he's really transformed. So he gave this presentation and I stole it from him. Okay. So some of these pictures are really old, uh, but hopefully they kind of seal the deal on, on, a, on a few things. Okay. So here's, here's Indiana. And uh, you guys all know that at one point we were covered with a glacier, right? Now this X is not uh, us. This X, because I stole this from Larry, okay, is where Mary Lee Environmental Learning Center of Goshen College is located, but that's just north of us, okay? So north and a little bit. So we're kind of like over here, okay? So this would be kind of that Packerton Moraine, okay? So what happens here is this glacier comes down, okay? And if you've ever been to Southern Indiana, you know that it's a lot different down there, right? It's a lot hillier. Okay, if you've never been to Brown County in the uh, fall, you've got to do it. Make that a bucket list item because it is phenomenal. What a great state park and what beautiful colors. Uh, and it's really neat. You've never been to Richmond, Indiana. Okay, you know that like uh, there's a lot more places down there that have kind of more of a cut to it, like we have the cut in Wabash. You know what I mean by the cut, okay? I feel like we've talked a little bit about the cut before, okay? So so it's weird to think about this, but Indiana is pretty flat. And the reason why it's pretty flat for the most part is this glacier just came down and went right? And then it like receded, right? And then it, and then it receded, right? And then it, you know, so on and so forth, right? That's what glaciers do. They just chew. It's like literally the sound of a glacier doing its job. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, you have you ever noticed that like some of those guys that are like planting in like ape like April. Like, you know, like, like super early, like, how can they be doing? They've got that sandy soil, right? They can, 
they can withstand some of those those heavy rains, right? The soil is incredibly different, you know, along that rain. When we go, dear, again, cross my fingers, okay? We will go to the fin. Like if we can't do it like together as a class, then we'll do it. it at least, right, we'll just happen to meet there, right? Okay, okay, because it look, I gotta take you there. Here's why I cannot freaking believe that this place is within five miles of our school. Because when you pull up to this road, you've got a bouncy fin, okay, then you've got like a, a, a marsh, and then you go behind the marsh, and next thing you know, you're going up a hill that's a dune. You scrape away the soil, and you've got nothing but pure like Indiana, I mean, you, it's a sand, sand mountain, right? That has eventually been covered up with trees and it's, it's, it's wonderful. And the first time I went up there, I was like, this is crazy. This is in North Manchester. Right? Well, technically it's in Kosciuszko County because it's just right over the line. Okay, Hi. but it's all, but it's all, it's all that glacial moraine, okay? Why do we have the dunes where we have them? Right, right there in Lake Michigan and Warren Dudes, right? Okay, because of the glaciers depositing those things. Okay, so if you travel, okay, north, okay, so here's Fort Wayne, okay, uh, uh, here's our Wabash County, here we're going up towards Warsaw, here's this Packer Moraine. But if you go west, have you ever noticed, like if you go down 114, okay, 114 is pretty flat, right? There's a couple little bumps, okay, but if you travel, Okay, along, um, okay, what's the east, west 14. road? 14, whoa, 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 whoa. But there's also one that's even north of that two too. Maybe it's two, well, 205 goes north and south, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, what's the, I'm trying to think of the one that's just like north of 14. It's also like, what, not 15. 15's up and down too, right? No, well, it's gotta be an odd number. Oh my God, now I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, so, uh, well, 30, yeah. but what's in between 30 and 14? There's gotta be something there, right? Uh, right in the middle is about 20. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I like, yeah, that'd be 24, no, 24 south. Okay, so let's look, because now um, it's killing me. Let's go. Oh, so you can't uh, think of anything in between. I don't, maybe there's not. Maybe there's just county roads. Maybe I've just driven the county roads there. Maybe there's not a state road in between 14 and 30. Okay. Uh, North Manchester, Indiana. Okay, here we go. Let's just look. And then we'll zoom out. Yeah, 14. And then, and then there's five. And then there's 30, right? Yeah, you're right. There's nothing. But if you've ever gone down some of these roads, right? Okay, or even, even, yeah, probably 14 to your best, but I've gone through some of these country roads. You're up and down, man. It's like bouncy, bouncy. Okay, we're talking major PP vibrate. Okay, because of these, these Packerton, or because of all these moraines. Moraines, the leftover stuff. Okay, so here's Indiana. Okay, once again, ho hopefully, I, I feel like now more and more people would be able to point to uh, our county, right, in this in the state, maybe now you're looking at the COVID map, right? or like back in, you know, when you were in sixth grade, and we had those days where it was like uh, 30 below, you're like, oh, are we under a red warning, are we a yellow, right, that kind of thing, okay, so y'all find our county, okay, right, it is right here, okay, and it's this nice little notch, okay, I used to, here's a true story, I used to do this thing where it was kind of ridiculous, but I kind of liked it, where I made everybody in my apes class and also my college class cut out and make a puzzle out of all the uh, oh, all the counties, yeah. right? And you had five minutes to recreate the puzzle. If you did it, you got an A plus. If you missed a couple counties, you got you got nothing. Okay. So I was teaching this college class. And have I told you a story before? Mm -hmm. uh, I was teaching this college class, and this kid, he's now a teacher. He's a good teacher. Uh, he's not doesn't live around here. He was an ordinary kind of guy. But he's like, hey, I need to make up this test because he was sick. I said, can you come to high school? And he said, sure. So he came to high school. He did the test like during my prep and all was well. He got an A plus and he was leaving. I said, oh, you can just go out this door, uh, you know, right at the end of this hall. So he's walking out okay, and he noticed a cross country runner. Okay? And so at the time, it was a tradition that if you saw a cross country runner from MU, Okay, you automatically moved them, 
Oh. Oof. So here's what he did. He sees him, and the kid's like more like kind of by the pool, right? Things happen when you walk down. He ducks by the tree right in front of Z's room, oh. waiting for the cross country oh. guy to come. Okay, as he does, he moons him, doesn't realize that all those windows are not truly black, but that oh. he then mooned not only the cross country runner, but then um, Z's class and Snover's class. Oh. Everyone saw it. He got in major trouble, was banned from Manchester oh. High School for the entire, no, 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 for the entirety of his career. He was going to student teach here, had to find different student teaching placement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him like, okay, what were you thinking? He goes, I don't know. I just saw a cross country runner. I was like, I know what I got to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty horrible. So anyways, I stopped doing that project. All right, but I want to make sure uh, you know where we are. And here you can see all of those those different rains. So yes, Indiana is pretty flat, but there are moments of, of, of wonderful hills. Okay. Yeah. My house is the highest point in Mother's County. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Where do you live? <laughs> Let's see if we can prove that in a little bit. That's what my dad says. Don't ask me. Okay. Well, we'll yeah, see if you. That. Usually not my house. He says Manchester's that way and Rochester's that way. But Rochester's that way. Oh yeah. See, Hannah does have the same problem. Yeah. All right. She's mm -hmm. not good with that. All right. So this is a picture that Larry took in Alaska of an old glacier, um, and uh, uh, I, I, I like it. Looks this, yeah. Yeah. Right. It right, right. looks very uh, '60s, '50s, right? Um, and then this is this is creepy. When he showed this picture, I, was, I thought he honestly took it at the hardware store. Oh, good. Right? But it, I said, where'd you take this picture? And he goes, oh, Goshen. I was like, this is creeping me out because th even with these houses and these trees, mm -hmm. and yes, it's old timey, like the old timey car. But the other thing is, is you guys know that like at the hardware, when they plow the snow, they plow it like in between, you know, the recycling. So I was like, where'd you take this? And he's like, no, no, no. I was like, oh, that's really creeping me out. Okay, but can you see what's happening here? What's happening with this snow right here? It's got a lot of sediment. Yeah, it's got a lot of sediment in it. But do you think that sediment was all there? Like, like, uh, like, what's what's happening to the snow? There's a little hint in the background here. And yeah, it's melting, right? Look how okay. old that car is. So I know, right? Right, right. So we were talking early eighties. Okay, so this this snow is yeah, this snow is definitely melting. And when it melts, I'm sure at one point it looked beautiful white. Okay, but, but as it's melting, all of that Solution. stuff remain, right? That's what's happening with glaciers, okay? That's what's happening with these landforms. Man, when he showed this picture to me, it was like a freaking light bulb went off, right? Because I'm like, oh, man. You know, when we're talking, right? It's scraping all that stuff when it were, Treats it melts, right? Glaciers don't just like, oh, it's time to go home, ah, right? No, they're retreating because they're melting, right? Y'all with me on this? And when they're melting, they're leaving crap, and that's why we go pee pee vibrator road, right? I'm excited. Then you got stuff like this. So if you would have ended up going to Mary Lee, which is a major bummer, right? You would have visited this. Anybody can visit this. Okay, this is an esker. I'll show you a picture of an esker later, but they decided um, uh, to use it as an educational tool, but they didn't originally do that. They dug this out, okay, for um, purposes of gravel, making concrete, all this stuff. It's like a kind of a gravel pit, okay? And then you can see all these different blocks and all these different strata, okay? It's pretty cool, but all that was left by a glacier. Okay, so uh, here are some options, and all of these you can find in Indiana. Okay, I actually did find something called a cane, and maybe if we, uh, uh, if you want to spend some time getting some poison ivy and some, uh, and maybe uh, uh, some exploring, you can I can show you the cane at the um, at the fin. Uh, it's pretty cool. All of these are leftover pieces. So a drumlin, kind of more of a, like a longer pointy thing. An esker, more of a curvy thing. The moraine, there's our up and down roads. And then Kettle Lakes. Okay. 
How do these things happen? Okay, it's all about that ice and where the ice stays. Okay, yeah, and then where it melts. Okay, so here's bedrock. Okay, so what's our bedrock in Indiana? Limestone, right? We actually have limestone right below my feet right now. And we also have another rock called dolomite, which is really it's yeah, right, right, right. But not, I mean, it's like, but it's within the low market. We can't find limestone everywhere, okay, but we can find it here. We can also find some dolomite here, okay. When that ice melts, okay, and when the glacier melts too, it leaves that moraine, but it also leaves where those big chunks are. Picture these chunks like skyscraper size, right? You know, uh, uh, when that happens, okay, we leave these, then they fill up with water, right? When they fill up with water, we have things like kettle lakes. If you've ever been to Pokagon State Park, okay, you've been there? Who else has been to Pokagon State Park? It's great. Okay, so you guys know where the inn is, the Pottawatomie Inn at Pokagon State Park? There's a little trail right off outside of the, the inn that leads right to a kettle lake, and that is called Lake Lana Daw, okay? Lake Lana Daw. I think I told you a story once about Matt Carver and Lake Lana Daw, right? Did I tell you this story? I didn't tell you the story. All right. So, oh yeah, I could see that. Okay. So, uh, so uh, I got a grant. Like over the years, I've gotten like cool things, and and but and I wish it would keep going. But one year, I got a grant to work at like different national parks and state parks. So I took Matt Carver's class to Pokagon State Park in the in February. And we went there to um, study winter ecology. And, um, and it was a small class. I feel like there was only like maybe 15 people. Uh, and it was one of those really, really cold winters. And Lake Lanaga was completely frozen, probably eight, eight to 12 inches of ice. I mean, we're talking about thick ice. So all the kids, we go to Lake Lanaga, and they said, do you think we can get on the ice? I was like, yeah, yeah, no problem, let's get on. So we all get on the ice. I've not told you a story. No. You swear? OK. All right, so we get in the ice. And, uh, and people are like kind of scared. Like it's the first time some of these kids have ever been on a real lake with thick ice, right? So there was kind of timid. So uh, picture, the, picture the pier being like right here, the edge of my desk. Here's the lake, everybody's out here. Well, Matt's like goofing around and he's like kind of dancing and he spins and falls. And when he falls, it creates this deep, cracking ice sound, okay, right, like, like, I don't know if you've ever heard it, okay, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's almost like, it's like you can hear it below, but it sounds like an explosion, you know, like, it's like scary if you've never heard, it. if you've heard it, it's like, I uh, hope your butt's okay, everyone freaks out, okay, I have never seen, like, I'm over kind of by Matt, I'm just gonna, I go, you okay, buddy, and I hear girls screaming, they are all like jumping on top of each other. I remember um, we had a couple foreign exchange students and this girl, Noelle, hit one of the foreign exchange students out of the way and jumped up on top. They're all clamoring to save their lives. I asked Noelle later, uh, and she's, a, she's such a nice girl too. And I said, I go, what was going on? She goes, I am so embarrassed uh, that I did that. Uh, how did she put it? She goes, I was so afraid of my life that I was willing to sacrifice someone else's life to save my own. <laughs> it was, I was like, I was just kind of standing there like, what's going on? I mean, sheer and utter panic. And, 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 and it was amazing though, I'll never forget, Lake Lanadon. Why do I tell you that now? Because Lake Lanadon is a kettle lake. So, so there was a giant block of ice, okay, in Pokagon near Angola, and that lake was formed. Uh, uh, because of that, okay? Let's talk about um, uh, uh, different other ice formations. So here's like ice, it's starting to melt and it forms this like crevasse, right? So when that forms, okay, okay, so here's that big crack. So here's my crack, okay? But notice I got dirt here and I got dirt here, hey bro. Okay, and when that happens, okay, what's gonna happen is the dirt's gonna fall down into that crack and it's gonna make a structure like this. I found one in the fin by accident. There is no doubt, 100% no doubt in my mind that it is a cane because we're talking about an extremely flat ground, but nothing more than the most perfect little mound. Okay. Yeah, dude, you've seen one too? Yeah, I just always figured that like over time people have just like must have moved dirt there. No! Like you got a cane! Is it on your property? 
Oh yeah, man. Yeah, like out in the, it's just a mound, and you're like, what the heck is that thing doing there? This is what happens. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. There you go. It does. I let you say it, David. You're such a All right, I'm gonna stop there because I feel good. Okay, I got excited, and I don't, I want to keep I want to keep it going, right? But I I want you like look for those next time you're out there. Like oh, yeah. yeah, same thing, dude. I would have never known. I would thought the same thing. I thought like somebody like like built something and then they piled the dirt there. But it's just too weird. That's the thing that you should like oh, notice. Dad, like, I just always wondered if there like an old like Indian burial. Map oh yeah, like that. Oh yeah, yeah. You know about lidar? You guys know about lidar? Can I do the sunglasses um, real quick? Lidar is like freaking cool. What do you want to say? <laughs> I'll type it in. No, I don't want to. Let me type it in. Imagine me walking into Ricky's for Glassman. Imagine me walking into Ricky's for Glassman. Oh, yeah, Jake hasn't seen yet. Here, turn around. There you go. Done yet? I can see it. Come on, geez, what do you take me for? Why do you take forever? Okay, there you go. Really good? Yeah. Did you actually put it on there? I did. <laughs> Max is giggles. I should have, if I was smarter, I should have put something else. Yeah, you should have. Dang it. Put something else on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're not recording this video. You are recording this, you know that, right? Yeah. Yep. Type of sending statement or what? <laughs> 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 what to say, guys? Nothing. 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 I bet you do. <laughs> You're a 